Hey guys, video 21 for the post-trib pre-rapture position. And what I want to do is I want to talk about a little chart I made. And I want to basically prove that the trumpets and the vials of God's wrath have nothing to do with the tribulation. They're three and a half years. The second, they're the second part of the three and a half years. The first three and a half years is what's the tribulation. However, the entire seven-year period is Daniel's 70th week. But you can see very clearly, the, the, or the Bible's clear, a time, time, time and a half is the Antichrist's reign. And then there's the abomination of desolation. And then there's a time of great tribulation. That's the 75-day period. And we get that because uh, he told um, Daniel uh, that he would come and rest in his lot at the end of the, at the 1,335 days. And he said, blessed is he that cometh to the end of the 1,335 days. <clears throat> well, he says that the tribulation period, both great and regular tribulation, is 1,290 days. So when you subtract that from 1,335, you're left over with 75 days of great tribulation. Then he comes back and gets us. The 144,000 are sealed. They come down and we go up. <clears throat> then you have the trumpets and vials that coincide or are happening simultaneously. Whether they're the same thing or they're happening simultaneously, it's still very clear that they're, they're pretty much mentioning the same stuff. Um, and that is when God pours out his wrath, obviously the finality being the battle of Armageddon. So here in Revelation chapter 6, it says, And I saw when the Lamb opened one of the seals, and I heard as it was the noise of thunder, one of the four beasts saying, Come and see. And I saw, behold, a white horse, and he that sat on him had a bow. And a crown was given unto him, and he went forth conquering and to conquer. Uh, conquering and to conquer. We know this is the Antichrist. But you can see that the first seal has nothing to do with the first trumpet or vial, which is hail and fire poured out upon the earth, and it's pains and sores, and it's mingled with blood. It has nothing to do with the Antichrist coming forth to conquer and to conquer. But we, if we look at Matthew 24, when Jesus spoke of the events of the tribulation, he says, Many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many, and you'll hear of wars and rumors of wars. That coincides perfectly that he went forth conquering and to conquer. Then it says, uh, And when he opened the second seal, I heard the second beast say, Come and see. And there went out another horse that was red, and power was given unto him to take peace from the earth, that they should kill one another. And to him was given a great sword. And there's the, uh, the nation shall rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom. And then uh, the third seal, it says, uh, when he had opened the third seal, I heard a beast say, come and see. And I beheld though a black horse and him that sat on him had a pair of balances in his hand. And I heard a voice in the midst of the four beasts say, a measure of wheat for a penny and three measures of barley for a penny. See that thou hurt not the oil and the wine. Now, a penny was uh, very clear in the Bible that it was like a day's wage. So what it's basically saying is it would take an entire day's wage to buy a loaf of bread. You know, kind of like the Great Depression, you need a wheelbarrow full of money barely just to buy a loaf of bread. And we see that that coincides perfectly again with Matthew 24, where it says there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. So the first seal is the Antichrist. Second seal is wars. Third seal is famine. Fourth seal is death. The, the fifth seal is those martyrs, those uh, tribulation saints being martyred. And then we see the uh, sixth seal is the second coming of the rapture. That's when the sun and the moon are darkened. And then the seventh seal is what brings about the trumpets and the vials of God's wrath. So guys, how can the trumpets and vials be the tribulation when they're only opened on the seventh seal? So clearly the tribulation is nothing to do with God's wrath.